Hello everyone, this is Stuart Yusuf and it is an English lesson for grade 8 at Finnish Systems Schools. Um, today we're going to continue talking about the Red Badge of Courage and we're going to uh, continue at page 223. The outcomes that are expected for you students to have after this lesson is to understand the text to be able to identify new words and uh, to put these new words into sentences. So we have talked about Red Badge of Courage and we have talked about his feelings, Henry's feelings, the soldier, the youth soldier, uh, his feelings, how is he feeling about fighting and about um, being in a battle, in a war, and uh, we have to read about the conversation he was having with his, uh, with his um, friends, with his uh, colleagues. So today we're going to continue about talking uh, the red badge. It's actually here from the movie, the movie script. It is um, this from the script of the movie. As you know, that this novel was turned into a movie. Um, interior shot, soldiers dining hall on the spaceship, Gerisberg. The year is to uh, 2016. The soldiers dining hall is a large room on the giant battle spaceship, Gerisberg. A young man in his early 20s, Henry, wearing his private uniform, is passing near the tables. No one else is present, suggesting that it's the equivalent of late night or early morning. So actually the movie starts with um the interior shot which is the inner part the inside a uh, shot um in this spaceship which is at uh, Gettysburg. Um the soldiers dining hall where they have dinner okay is a large room it is a large room and a giant battle spaceship Gettysburg a young man in his early 20s who is Henry he's wearing his private uniform he's wearing his private uniform he's pa pacing near the tables he's pacing which is he is um he's having a single step when you are running or walking uh, or the distance you move in one step no one else is a present, suggesting that it's the equivalent. No one, no one's there. So he's suggesting that it is um like the same as the late night when you are when it is late night or the early of the morning. Now here it starts with Henry voiceover. So he would say, "I have a bad feeling about this." I can't stop thinking about what it is going to be like when the fighting starts. The quiet nights are supposed to be unpredictable and without mercy, and that ships may be faster than ours. So Henry looks around thoughtfully as music swells in the background. So, actually, the movie starts with Henry's voice. Um, that he, he that he had that he is having a bad feeling about this, that he can't stop thinking about what is going to be when the fighting starts, when the battle starts, what what is going to be, the quiet nights, the opposite enemies, the enemies they are fighting against are supposed to be unpredictable. They are supposed to be like changing. That is, in, it is impossible to know what they are going to do, and they are without mercy. They. They don't choose, they don't like forgive, they don't uh, show, they don't um, show any kind of forgiveness for anyone or anybody. And that ships may be faster than ours, that ships may be, that ships may be like faster than ours. So Henry looks around thoughtfully, thoughtfully, like always thinking of his uh, thinking, um, thoughtfully that he's in thinking okay as the music swells in the background it swells here which become louder in the background so this is actually how the movie starts it starts with henry like pacing into the dining hall and then um 
he's talking about himself that he's not um that he, that he is uh have a, that he has a bad feeling about it and he can't stop thinking about what is going to be when the fighting starts and the um enemies they are fighting against they are unpredictable they are they are without mercy and that ships might be faster than theirs so he's thinking about this that he he is showing of his emotions and then the music swells in the background the music gets louder in the background now henry fleming um henry is the protagonist of the novel here he's a young union soldier and enlisted he and he enters the army with a strong romantic feelings about war so he enters the army with a strong romantic feelings after experiencing the realities of army life he became plagued by doubts and fears. As the novel progresses, Henry overcomes his fears and goes to become one of the fiercest, most aggressive soldiers in the regiment. Henry conquers doubt and accepts duty by showing the confidence and courage required to be a soldier. So later on, we're going to see that from this weak, coward Henry, we're going to see the fierce soldier, the aggressive soldier uh, later on. So the summary of the book itself, um, we're going to, I'm going to give you like each lesson, a summary of the book. So it is going to be easier for you to understand the text and it will be easier for you to imagine um, the book, the novel or the story, the movie itself. So here, Henry Fleming is a teenager. He's a teenager with romantic notions about the glories of war. He enlists in the Union Army and quickly discovers sights of himself he never knew existed. The horrors, boredom and complete injustice of war bring out all of Henry's worst and occasionally best tendencies. So actually, Henry at first he feels like coward, he feels afraid, he's um like... um like he did not expect that and he entered and he entered the uh, army because um he wanted to be he did not expect that to be happening initially henry fears that he will run like a coward when faced with his first battle he has been in the army for a while now but hasn't seen any action yet Talking with the other men, he tries to get them to admit that they are scared as well. No one wants to say as much. They all seem perfect example of fearless men, which leaves Henry feeling even worse about his own apprehension. Shortly before his first battle, he sees his first dead body, a gruesome corpse. So actually... Henry has a fear, has uh, this kind of fearing that he that he is um afraid, um he fears that he is going to run from the battle from his first battle, um, he 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 did not he did not have a battle he did not fight in a battle before, um so he tries to talk to other men, seeing trying um seeing to see if that. They would admit that they are afraid and they would run, but no one um, says that. They all seemed a perfect example of fearless men that they are not afraid of anything. So he leaves his feeling um, even worse. And then uh, we're going to continue. But um, this is actually what we uh, have talked about uh for now, this is what we have talked about. So this is actually um, it is like um Henry who is in who is who is a soldier. He enters the army because he wanted to, and then uh when he enters, he did not expect that he is it is going to be that difficult. So he starts to feeling uh to feel afraid. Um, he starts to feel um coward, and he he uh delivered for us his emotions that he might run away from the battle, from the war, from the fighting, 
um, because he's like really afraid that he's going to lose his uh, life. So this is actually what what we have talked about for now. Um, the lesson has ended. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget, boys and girls, that your exam is tomorrow. Please study well and look at the revision videos. It is uh, going to be uh, very useful. And don't forget to check your weekly plans because they are really important. Please stay safe. This is your teacher, Isra Yusuf. Bye-bye.